Hi guys, this is Sam with Practically Posh Life and today I am doing the last of the series before Christmas, which is what I got my kids for Christmas, part two, the final roundup. So it is two days before Christmas and I am finally done done. And I'm going to wrap the rest of these tonight. And before I wrap them, I just wanted to quick show you some of the things that were not included in the first What I Got My Kids for Christmas video. Um, so these are going to be some of the joint shared gifts for them, as well as a couple of things that I swapped out. Um, but I just wanted to really quick film it for you before I get into wrapping all of this stuff and putting it away. I have never cut it this close. It is literally the 23rd. But... Uh, it's 2020. That's that's my disclaimer for everything. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Oh, if you were new, I'm Sam. I have two girls, ages seven and five, and I love doing these types of videos, and this is my favorite series. Um, and then after Christmas, I will be doing my holiday hits and misses, so make sure that you are subscribed and have your notifications on so that you can be alerted when that video comes up and you can see how all of these gifts worked out. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first, in my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, you would have seen um, this kind of LOL, bigger surprise, the pink one that I got at a really good price. Okay, so I looked up the wrong one, and I did not realize that was the one with the wigs and the, like, parts that you can, the hair that you can switch out. Not my jam. All I envisioned were little matted balls of hair all over the house. So that was a no-go. So I returned that uh, and swapped it out for this which is just that rainbow corn uh, sweet shake surprise which will work well because my older daughter has a rainbow corn that she got for her birthday a couple of years ago and my youngest has always wanted it envied it and wanted her own um and so she had asked for one and I thought you know this is a good time to give her that instead of that bigger surprise that has all the little pieces and all the wigs and all that nonsense that I just don't want to deal with so that it's been swapped out for this rainbow corn and I know these are super cute and she'll love it. Okay, next, I am gonna have to insert a couple of pictures because there are some things that I just, um, there's stuff in the trunk of my car that I haven't brought upstairs and the kids are home so I'm not gonna go grab them. Um, but I did get some more Our Generation stuff and the reason I like to get the 18 inch doll Our Generation stuff is because my girls play with it for everything. They play with it with their baby dolls, they play with it with their Barbies. I mean, they find uses for all of those accessories and they are just so incredibly cute. Lately, the girls like to pack up the things and pretend like all the dolls are traveling. So I got two different travel suitcase sets that I think they're really gonna enjoy because right now they try to pack stuff up in Tupperware and plastic grocery bags, just anything they can find. Um, and so I will insert a picture of the Our Generation travel sets that I bought each of them. And so one set will go to each child and they can use all of those accessories when they're packing up their dolls to go on vacation or trips or travel. And I think they're really gonna enjoy that. Um, you also remember that in the first What I Got My Kids for Christmas video, I had um, the, I can't remember the name of the set, but I will insert a picture of it. It was the Our Generation set with the wheelchair and the cast and all of those pieces. And I said the only thing I had left was to get something equivalent for my other daughter. And so I was able to find the Our Generation set that has the stretcher, and I thought it was so cool. They introduced a line this year, I believe, that goes with the ambulance and has all these really fun accessories. So I got that set, and so now they will have two kind of sets that they can use if someone gets hurt or if they're kind of doing role play with someone that's injured, disabled, has an, a, any you know medical challenges. They've got two different sets that they can play with. So I think they're really going to enjoy that. And while I am staying on the Our Generation theme, I also have these little accessory sets. One is Sweet Surgeon, and so thank you to whoever commented and mentioned that that was a great little accessory set to go with the um, original set that I got. Um, and so I was able to snag one, uh, and it's so cute. It comes with a little surgeon set, a mask, shoes, a stethoscope, really cute. And then the other game they like to play is this like birthday party thing. So somebody's always having a birthday party um, and they don't have a lot of accessories to have the party. So uh, this is going to go to my older daughter who's the main one that loves playing birthday party and it has its own cake, cupcakes, a party hat, presents. Uh, and again, this just allows them to do more role play with their dolls. 
Okay, now for the items that are gonna be shared. One is gonna be this big Play-Doh set, 50 pieces, and it is called the Play-Doh Kitchen Creations Great Baking Book Set. And I got this for $24.99 at Target. It's usually 50 bucks and it is pretty substantial. I mean, it has a lot of stuff. Um, so I think they're really gonna love it and I don't like Play-Doh, I, I hate Play-Doh actually, but my girls love it and because they are home so much now and doing e-learning and it's not going away anytime soon, I really need some things that they can do um, in the house, especially because we're, we're hitting winter, not allowed to go anywhere, everything's shut down, uh, and they are also doing e-learning from home. So that is a lot of time in the house. So I had to think of things that they can do that will enable them to play and have fun, and one of the things they are always asking to do is play with Play-Doh. So I thought this would be a really good shared gift, and so it'll be addressed to both of them, um, and they will love it. And I have finally figured out a system with Play-Doh that works. Uh, where it is not everywhere. I just have, I got a king size sheet from like, for like a bed, and I throw that sheet on the floor and it covers a huge space and set everything up on there and that is where they have to play. And when it's done, I just gather up the sheet, go outside, shake it off, put it in the washer and I'm done. Um, and that really does cut down and minimize all of the Play-Doh pieces stuck in the carpet on the floor. I don't let them play with it at the dining table or any of that stuff. It is literally, Mom is going to go get the Play-Doh sheet, <laughs> throw it down, and again, there's such a huge amount of space that they can work with that they contain it all onto the sheet, and then again, I can just gather up that sheet and shake it off. So if you're looking for a tip, that has worked for my girls, and it's caused a lot less stress for me with them playing with Play-Doh. So next, Legos. So the other thing that they really like to do is play Legos. I am not a huge fan of the little Legos because they just get everywhere. But they and they have a few of the Lego Friends sets. Um, but the thing is, once they build that exact thing that was in the picture, they don't know what to do with it, and then it just kind of feels like a waste. So what I wanted to do is get some free play Legos where they could literally construct anything that they want to. And right now, the only thing they have that does that is the Mega Blocks. You know, like the huge ones from that you give to babies. <laughs> they still have their set, and that is what they've been using. And so we're gonna upgrade a little bit. They're still not getting the little Legos, but I did upgrade this and it is a big box of Lego Duplos and I know I know what you're thinking you're like didn't you say your girls are seven and five yes I did and yes they are old enough for regular Legos mommy is not ready for a bunch of little Legos all over the house and it's just not gonna happen so <laughs> this is the next step up and again right now they are working with mega blocks so this is gonna feel like Wow, we've upgraded. I'm not worried about them not feeling challenged by these. It's just a bunch. There are literally 175 pieces in here that they can play with. I am gonna look to get a container, but I think that this is gonna be really fun for them to just construct and build whatever they want. Eventually, we will get to the regular size Legos, but right now, I'm content with Lego Duplo. I feel like they're big enough for the kids to pick up and me to see without them ending up underneath everything and everywhere. And to go along with that, oops, sorry, hold on one second. I have these boards that they can construct on that I think are gonna be really helpful. So we've got two of these so that each of them have one. And then I think I only have one more thing left. I can literally hear them right outside the door. This is gonna be fun. Piggy and Elephant. My girls love Mo Willems and the Piggy and Elephant books, and this is a set that I have had my eye on for like a year or more, but didn't pull the trigger on. It's like 80 bucks, and I was just struggling with it. Um, but I just didn't want to miss the opportunity while they're still young um, and really into it to get this set that I think that they can pass down, that I we can keep at the house for future grandkids. It's just, it, it was, it's an amazing series of books and they've only read about half of them. So there's still another half that they've never read before and I'm really excited about. So this is the set. And if you see the little piggy and elephant, those are bookends. So I can set this up in their playroom on top of the little like 
white bin system I have a globe there I can set this up next to the globe I think it's gonna look great and I really am looking forward to reading all the books in the series with them and again just having this uh, I have a five-year-old who's learning to read and she's getting really good and so these are gonna be great books for her to practice with and overall I think they're really gonna love it and selfishly I just really wanted to own this Piggy and Elephant Mo Willems collection I highly recommend those books if you're uh, little ones are learning to read or really into books as an adult I enjoy the stories I laugh I you know there are a few <laughs> children books that I really get into and I love almost everything that Mo Willems writes um, I just find it to be comical and fun so I really think that this is gonna be a great addition to our collection and so this is the last joint gift that they will share and that will go in our library so that is everything that the girls got for Christmas this year. I think, <laughs> I feel like I'm missing stuff, but at this point, I think most of it is covered. So hopefully you have enjoyed seeing and getting some inspiration from these items. Comment down below, are you done? Do you have everything wrapped? Uh, are you ready? We are two days away, folks. Um, <laughs> look forward to reading your comments and I look forward to seeing you after the Christmas holiday to share with you what was a hit and what was a miss. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.